It's a lifestyle for the rough and rugged kind The tougher the game, the longer the pain, the better the ride We do what we can to stay ahead Cause the modern world wants us left for dead You better believe as long as we breathe the sun's gonna rise We dig real deep, try a little harder, buckle down tight Go a little farther so we can look back and be proud of what we've done Sometimes we gotta work under the gun Don't sweat the battle, make sure the war's won Keep on keeping on, goes the bottom line It's a labor of love we call the grind The Grind Waterfowl TV is brought to you by Canadian Waterfowl Supplies, Dakota Decoy, premium gunning decoys for demanding hunters, Lucky Duck Premium Decoys, Masters of Deception, Heavy Shot, I didn't come this far to miss, Wild Ear. The Delta Waterfowl Foundation. Pro Drive Shallow Water Outboards. Camp Chef, the way to cook outdoors. Sitka Gear, turning clothing into gear. And these fine sponsors. One, we're already 20 minutes late waiting for Hart and the coffee maker. snow sock um, basically what we did is just designed a ratchet system so you pop it up it's in play ready to roll uh, when you're done hunting you just fold it flat uh, it's pretty unique um, easy to store easy to put out fast snow goose put out big spreads and you need to do it quick so typically a typical snow goose sock once it's done, it stays in a 90, 90 degree position like that. It just makes it a little more difficult storing them. So we just designed it so it fold, fold flat. Uh, easy, to, easy to store, easy to put out.
too low, real low left. Get him, get him, get him. Well, what we're really just trying to do is just open up a little lane. To, they aren't, they probably aren't gonna decoy today. There's no sun, gray day. Um, but what we're trying to do, they're coming over the field low, so we're trying to just create a little channel that they might channel on up, give us a 25, 30 yard shot. But might luck out and get some down in the decoys. But. Well, that's the key factor, luck. Cause that's, they, they, call them, uh, they call them white devils for a reason. I think we're finding out yeah. why we quit chasing these things. <laughs> Just can't stop doing it though. Addicting. Uh, what we're doing, uh, we kind of, we kind of slipped off yesterday afternoon. We should have had this done yesterday, but we're gonna we're putting together uh, ten dozen fully flocked big geese this morning. We're really trying to target mallards. Um, there have been a few geese in the area, haven't there, Rick? Yep, but ducks love geese. I mean, it, so we'll typically put out a huge spread of Canada decoys, um, some full body mallards, and a bunch of lucky ducks, and. It's usually pretty effective. So we got a north wind this morning. Um, we're just gonna create a big horseshoe and try and drive the ducks right to the center where we're gonna place the full body mallards and the lucky ducks. So we'll give it a go. But typical hunters, we should have been doing this yesterday. Now we're doing it at five in the morning. So <laughs> plastic's cold, hands are cold and it's cold out here, but we're gonna get it done. We'll get them this morning. Welcome to Delta Waterfowl's Conservation Corner. Welcome to the Conservation Corner. I'm John Devney, Vice President of U.S. Policy for Delta Waterfowl. This season on the Grind Waterfowl television show, we're covering Delta Waterfowl's work for ducks and duck hunters across North America. As a duck hunters organization, Delta Waterfowl feels there's an important need and frankly an obligation to serve as the voice of duck hunters. 
to work for duck hunters like you every day. What I mean by that is we all recognize that duck hunting participation is declining. There's far fewer duck hunters today than there was even a few short years ago. I think we believe that one of the primary reasons for the decline in waterfall hunting is lack of opportunity, lack of access, and frankly regulations that sometimes don't consider the needs of duck hunters. Many years ago Delta Waterfall identified these threats to duck hunting and has been ver working very hard for duck hunters like you ever since. There's issues like promoting Sunday hunting in the Atlantic Flyway, repealing the Sunday hunting prohibition in Prairie Canada. We fought and won access, threats to access all over North America. We've been incredibly involved in the gun registry issue in Prairie Canada. There's this huge host of issues that Delta's working on every day on your behalf. Now, a lot of those issues don't claim national headlines. They're not fights with national anti-hunting groups. These are decisions that are made in municipal buildings and county courthouses, small bylaw by changes in communities but every one of them has a real impact on how folks somewhere are enjoying waterfall hunting. And we think it's a critically important need for Delta to make sure we're standing with you, the duck hunter, to make sure your voice is heard and your needs are being met so you can continue to enjoy time in the duck blind. We believe this is an essential role for Delta Waterfall as the duck hunters organization. Finally, we broke down slid really only about 50 yards to the edge of the corn strip we were hunting and did a side shoot on them. Well, we kind of got crossed up today. We, we knew we had a north wind, but we set up in the dark. We found the field late last night. Um, we tried to make the best of it. We set up wrong. We knew it, but we were going to try and catch them before they got to the decoys, like right over the top of us. We shot a few ducks, and it just wasn't working out. So what you need to remember and what we should have done right away was move. Just take the time, move. We tried to tough it out. It didn't work. Finally, we broke down, slid really only about 50 yards to the edge of the corn strip we were hunting and did a side shoot on them and ended up getting, getting quite a few ducks. Um, so the learning lesson for us today was take the time and move. Don't try and fight the wind. Move to where you're gonna have the best shot at either side shooting them or shooting them in the face.
catch him. Kill him. I got two. Here. Here. Okay. Kill him. Um, what we did this morning, we found this little, it's not, it wasn't a roost pond, but it was a, more of a little drinking pond. So the ducks are feeding, they'd pop into this little pond, get a drink of water, pop up back, back out and feed. But we got here this morning, it got down to about 14 degrees last night and we had an inch of ice on the pond. So a tip for you guys that hunt the, the water um, and it freezes, don't just go through and break the ice up. Uh, Figure out the size hole you want for your decoys and do a walk around and break the edge of the ice on the out, outer edge and then very carefully push that ledge underneath the ice that's still there and slide it as one big chunk. Um, it makes you a nice hole. If you just go through and break it up, what ends up happening, you get all these little chunks of ice and they don't leave and it'll refreeze on you. But if you get it out in one go, you're usually good to go. So when we did that this morning, there was no wind, no sun, no wind. So it started freezing up on us again. Um, so what we did a little bit later when the wind picked up and the sun came up, we went back through, opened the hole back up, the wind was blowing the ice out, and then we were able to create a little more water for the ducks to come into. When we first started this morning, we had about six or seven lucky ducks out. And the hole we had opened wasn't that big. So what we ended up doing, was pulling the lucky ducks in tight to the rushes, which left a little bit more open water for the ducks to hit, and they were a little more comfortable. We left one out in the middle of the hole, just as an attractor, and then the others were in here to the rushes. Um, and it worked a lot better. The ducks took a lot better look at the water, and we ended up with pretty good, pretty good water mallards this morning. Next week on The Grind, Waterfowl TV. Visit our website, www.thegrindwaterfowl.com, where you will find past episodes as well as tips and tactics from the boys here at The Grind. Follow The Grind on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.